a lot of people say this, um, you can combine different cakes, but I found it's pretty hard to, to do it right. You can layer cakes and then use EQ to uh, take out the low end from one and then use the mid and the top from another cake. But I found a lot of the times it sounds, um, it's hard to do it right. And it sounds, most of the times it sounds just weird. And the reason for that is that if the kicks you're layering are not tuned in a similar way, they will start phasing out frequencies and then you need to EQ at the perfect point. And that just makes it a pain in the ass. So usually what I did was I just grabbed the kick that I like and then I layered it with a top kick um, to change the sound a little bit. Because of course, if you use like, for example, the Mark Knight kick, you want to like change it up a little bit now and then. You don't want to use it like the same kick uh, all of the time. But um, a nice way to do it or a nice tool to do it is a plugin that's called Track Spacer. Eli Brown put me onto it, so thanks for that. And it's it's a lifesaver when it comes to layering kicks. So I'll show you now how I go about it. For example, if we want to layer this one and the other one, I select it. This one. So this is a really clean kick and I know that the low end sounds good and this is a bit more gritty. They actually sound quite well together so that's nice and easy but let's see if we try maybe take this one. Okay, so these two together sound a bit weird. If you want to use EQ to separate them, you can always, uh, first thing you can try and do is uh, transposing them a little bit or detuning them a little bit to see if you can get them sounding good together. And if they sound good together without EQ, then you're probably going to have an easy time uh, EQing them. So for example, let's make one kick out of these two. I know um, the Eli Brown one sounds good, so I'm going to use that as my main kick. But because we filtered it down, all of the mid and high frequencies are out of there. So we're going to add um, some of that back in and we're going to use this one because it just has like a nice grit to it and I'll do this one with the EQ so I'm calling this mid kick or something like that and I'm going to use fab filter so I don't need the low end from this one because that's the sampled kick You're going to take care of that Maybe take a little bit more of the low end out. Group those together. And that's our new kick. So that's with EQ. And I'll show you now how you can do it with um, track spacer. So let's duplicate this can get rid of this now we can use our track spacer 
So this is something like a combination of EQ and sidechain. Um, you can select an input. So I want to have my main kick as input. Um, and always like choose the kick with the best low end as your main kick. And then I can oops, use a track spacer. Um, it works like a side chain. You can set the amount, but it's like automatic EQing. So it analyzes the spectrum from the main kick from of, or whichever element you set as your side chain. And then it will start ducking when it's playing. And you can set the amount with this dial. So if I turn it all the way up, we just hear the sampled kick. And then I can dial in the amount of frequencies from our layer. And the advantage is that because it's um, analyzing your main kick and it ducks every, it ducks all the frequencies out, it's easier to do it right because basically the plugin does all the hard work for you, and you can just like give it as much um, of the information from your layer that you want in there. So let's. The result is similar, but um, it's easier with the track spacer. <laughs> 